how to use your barn door trap next. Hello, my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Today is part three on how to use your barn door trap. Now if you haven't seen part one or two, I recommend going back. Part one covers how to build the platform. Part two will cover how to build the electronic circuit. What I'm gonna do today is show you how to use it and I, one of the things that I wanted to discuss is I talked a lot about this finder scope. You know, I really, this is, I've never used a barn door trap before. I thought this was a good idea. It really isn't that great of an idea. Throw that away. You don't need it. Let's see that play right there. I didn't seem to notice any problem with that. So I was concerned that maybe with that little flop that there might have been a, a, a problem with the play in the hinge. But don't worry about it. If you have a hinge and there's a little bit of play there, uh, not, not to worry. Let's review a little bit on how to use the barn door trap. Now, one thing you want to do first is make sure your tripod is level. Level this off. That's going to give you the best start. Make sure all of your points on your tripod are really tightened well. And then also what you do is if you have any uh, extra weight you can put on the bottom to keep the, the tripod stable, that's another benefit you could use. Also, when you get ready to uh, line it up, just kind of take the hinge and just point that at Polaris. That's going to give you your alignment. And then when that's pointing at Polaris, of course, this is going, the other end, the open end, is going to be pointing to the east. And then as the night tracks, the stars go from the east to the west. This will then open up and track the stars for you. Uh, one thing is, too, is that if you haven't done this, make sure you put a cap nut on here. When this thing opens up, it becomes top heavy and you don't want your, your camera to flip over and, and uh, hit something. Uh, <clears throat> of course, what you have to do too before you get started is you have to uh, get it timed so you have this revolution where it goes around one time per minute. So, you know, make a little sticker, something that you can do to mark the timing. And then if you need to adjust any of the timing, you just go down here to the rheostat and you adjust your voltage so it gets one revolution per minute. Also what you can do is try to get it up as close as you can to the top. I found that the closer I got I, it would bind too much with this little gear so you, you have to find that sweet spot. Then as it starts to move you can let it go up and it'll be just fine. Um, overall I really think this project is, is uh, turned out pretty successful. A uh, very easy do-it-yourself project, give you a little bit uh, rounder stars, and let's review the results. This first shot I have is a 30 second shot. A uh, 30 second shot uh, without the barn door trap. You can see a few bits of uh, elongated football stars on there. Uh, not much of a difference. Now if I turn on the barn door trap and take a look at it, you can see now a nice round stars and I was kind of surprised even in the corners uh, getting some nice round stars there too. Now the lens that I'm using is a Rokinon 2.8 uh, lens, 14 millimeter lens. Uh, I think that a, a wide field lens gives you, uh, more, it's more forgiving than a long telephoto lens. In fact I did try a telephoto lens and it was just too much. Uh, you're best off with a wide field uh, lens if you going to shoot the uh, barn door trap. Well let's move on next to a one minute version of uh, the examples here. Here's a one minute. Uh, this you can see now it uh, has a more blur to it. Uh, you can see this without the barn door trap. Uh, you can see Orion and it looks pretty uh, out of focus. You can see some of the detail come out. Now, here's the exact same photo with the barn door trap. And yeah, you can tell a difference. There is definitely a benefit to using the barn door trap. Uh, the stars are nice and round. Looks uh, really, really, really well. Now, here's another one. This one is also is a minute. This has got uh, platies on it. And also, you can take a look down here. Right below platies and to the right, you can see Comet Lovejoy. And this, again, this is the first example with no barn door trap. Next, 
with the barn door trap and you can see there's a, a much improvement uh, that you get when you use the barn door trap. Now let's take a look at some two minute examples. Two minute examples here uh, you can see without the barn door trap it's obvious this thing is just it looks like somebody took the camera and just slid it across the front of it. Uh, then when you get the barn door trap on it, wow look at that there's Orion you can see the uh, winter Milky Way there and even Sirius has a a nice little star pattern uh, from the lens on there. Looks really nice. Uh, definitely a, uh, a a difference at two minutes. Again, here's another shot at two minutes. Horrible long lines on there, and then wow, look at that sucker, man! It looks beautiful with the barn door trap. Now, one last thing I'd like to show you here. Oh, by the way, all these images are just. Uh, unprocessed JPGs right out of the uh, the camera. I'll go back and process them a little bit later. But I also took a six minute shot just for giggles. You know, I wanted to see what would come out of it. And take a look at this. I mean, at six minutes, I still have nice round stars. Uh, of course, this image looks a little uh, overexposed, but at least I wanted to show you what a, a, a six minute image will do on the barn door trap. Now you have the ability to really go out and take longer exposures. Well, I hope you've learned a lot with this barn door trap series. I have, and if you have a better suggestion or any comments that would help improve uh, using the barn door trap, please leave them there. If you have an image that you've taken with your barn door trap, please post that as well. I'm interested to see your results. Also, if this is your first time watching, I would like you to subscribe. I publish two astrophotography videos on the 1st and 15th of every month. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.